I'm Kevin Cameron, and right now I'm going to talk about some links with the past and how extraordinary prototypes can lead to extraordinary production machines. On a couple of occasions, um, I've had the opportunity to be present when one of the fabled six-cylinder Honda 250s was dismantled. So I have some familiarity with the way that those engines were constructed. At the time, they represented the very highest technology that Honda Motor Company had created. First of all, although people in the automotive, automotive racing world had decided that two valves per cylinder gave optimum flow, Honda realized that there was another reason to use four small valves. They could reach higher RPM than two larger valves could manage because the lightweight little valves could follow the cam contour with a reasonable sized spring. So here we have four valves per cylinder. The Honda 6 turning 18,000 peak RPM also had four valves per cylinder. Really tiny valves. Talk about assembling parts with tweezers. That ultra high RPM 6 also had this oil gallery that runs directly across the engine right underneath its crankshaft. In the case of the Honda 6, it was a crankshaft built up from many pieces pressed together with rolling bearings. This engine uses a one-piece forged crankshaft, which is much cheaper. If you had to make a replacement crankshaft for a Honda 6 today, it would cost, well, you wouldn't get much change from a hundred grand. This crankshaft is available down at the dealer at the bottom of the road. You might have to wait a couple of days for rush shipment, but it's available for sale to the public. Racing versions of this production 600 have revved as high as 17,000, possibly even 18,000 RPM. So what was happening in the 1960s as the leading edge of design has now become normal technology for production. What was 100% unobtainium in 1966 has become a consumer product today. And this is the nature of technology, that first we have to learn how to do it, and then we can engineer ways, we hope, that everyone can do it. 